What's the diagnosis? Let's go through the case. This film shows the importance of assessing the mediastinal contour, particularly the contour of the azagous vein. In normal circumstances, the azagous vein should be seen as a smooth, well-defined tubular contour just above the right main bronchus. But what is the azagous vein? The azagous vein drains the posterior abdominal and chest walls. It traverses the posterior mediastinum before arching over the right main bronchus and drains into the SVC which we can see over here. Have a look at this coronal view of a normal CT and you'll see why we get that tubular contour on x-ray. Going back to our case, we can see the azagous contour is enlarged. But what causes an enlarged azagous contour? Enlarged lymph nodes could account for this and in this region could represent underlying sarcoid, lymphoma, TB or even spread from a primary lung cancer. Alternatively, a dilated azagous vein could account for this. One cause of this is a congenital abnormality called azagous continuation of the IVC. Here, the inferior vena cava inferior to the liver is missing, meaning the renal veins drain into the azagous vein, which becomes dilated. Going back to our x-ray, there is also a raised left hemidiaphragm and blunting of the left cotophrenic angle, reflecting a small pleural effusion. If there are enlarged mediastinal nodes, the raised hemidiaphragm could be the result of left phrenic nerve involvement. A CT scan confirms a nodal mass on the right side of the mediastinum, correlating with the findings on the chest x-ray. When there's a right-sided mediastinal mass, it's really important to review the superior vena cava which can become obstructed. This is the SVC and we can see the calibre becomes reduced. It is still patent, however is at risk of obstruction. Interventional radiologists can place stents to relieve malignant superior vena cava obstruction. Although some part of the decision to do this is based on the radiology, the degree of symptoms is also an important factor in deciding whether to place a stent. A relative contraindication to SVC stent insertion is any condition where it's potentially quickly treatable, as when the obstruction is relieved, the stent can become quickly displaced, leading to further complications. This is why knowing the underlying diagnosis is always preferable before SVC stent insertion. Given a lack of breathlessness or distended visible veins in this case, there was no need for SVC stent insertion. A PET-CT scan shows a nodal mass to be metabolically active and confined to the mediastinum. A CT-guided biopsy confirmed a diagnosis of lymphoma. So this film shows the importance of reviewing the azagous vein contour on a chest x-ray. Make sure you do this on every x-ray you review.